Hey guys! Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's August now. <laughs> it's been a while. We've been trying to get like readjusted to like a new schedule. Um, we have some things coming up for us, so like, work-life balance and figuring all that out before <laughs> the time comes for us to go back to what I call like the normal phase. I'm gonna make breakfast right now. Um, I was thinking of making some chia bowls, but all I have right now are like my mugs. <laughs> I usually like using like clear cups, but you know, clear glasses, but I don't have, I, I had two but one of them broke and yeah, I'm just gonna use the mugs. They're cute, whatever. Yeah, we have, I have like two jars full of chia seeds. My mom had bought me like the Costco size amount like a few months back and I've been just using them like here and there in smoothies, but I was like thinking like, okay, what else can I use them for? You know, how else can I use them? Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna make some chia bowls. I'll let those sit in the fridge for a bit so that they can cool down, they can soak up all the milk. Um, I'm gonna make them with milk, with whole milk. That's all we have right now in the fridge. I normally don't drink whole milk like that, or really ever. Um, I like using like coconut milk or almond milk, you know, and having them with some fresh fruit, you know, that, that being the sugar. I do have a few things to do around the house. I do the dishes and then I have a book that I'm almost done reading and I really want to finish it because it's gotten freaking insane. I, I can't believe like I came across this book and it's made me think so much more about like the things I tell people, <laughs> you know? And so, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do some, re some light reading and um, do a little bit more laundry and put some laundry away that we haven't put away. So uh, that's gonna be what I'm gonna do today, I think mostly. Um, but yeah, so let me get to it because I'm being hungry. So while those are in the fridge, uh, doing their thing, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. I'm gonna give some to Lobito as a snack, and then I'm gonna add them to the chia bowl. Like I'm gonna smash them a little bit, or even blitz them in like the food processor, and then you know add them to the chia bowls. And it's so good. <laughs> Normally, like I would make the chia seeds, like the pudding, the day before, so that I. Can just pull it out and you know and eat it, but it's probably gonna take about like an hour. I mean, I'll check it every 30 minutes, but like, should be about like an hour or two before they're like soaked up enough. For now, we're just gonna stack on some strawberries, and then if anything, I'll make him pancakes if he gets like to a point where he's like, I'm starving, mom. He's normally pretty a light breakfast eater, so we usually just give him like a breakfast smoothie um, with tons of fruits and like spinach and chia in it, but. Um, I want to do something a little different today, so uh, I'm just gonna give them some like freshly cut uh, strawberries to like munch on for now. These out. They're so ripe. Uh, 
Um, you can help me by eating them. This knife is too sharp right now, Papa. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's just for your safety. It's better that I do it and then when you get a little bit older, you can start cutting your own fruit with me, with Mama. Hey guys, um, so I just finished doing um, some Pilates. I actually have a, have a friend who like told me to like try it. I I'm a I, I usually do yoga, I'm more like a yogi person. Like it really like activates me. It really heats up my body. Like it really like it just makes me feel so good. But I had I hadn't done any yoga in a few months, mostly because I like maybe like two months because I hurt my knee and it was it's, it's an injury that I, I got when I was pregnant <laughs> actually it was like in my third trimester I was like eight months pregnant I was just like at my biggest weight at that time because yeah I was ready to pop <laughs> so getting out of bed I injured myself and it basically started flaring up like a few months back and so I stopped doing yoga for a few months but i've been feeling super tight super uncomfortable like just my body's been like asking for some movement some like stretching and she told me like you know pilates are also a good way of like um to having like a low impact workout so i decided to try one of like the youtubers she said she does um told me about um move with nicole i think i'm pretty sure that's her <laughs> I don't see any other Nicole in here, but um, yeah, or Rachel's, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I could be wrong. Point is that I, I did one of uh, Move With Nicole's like 30 minute Pilates for Beginners uh, videos and it really like activated me. I feel great right now, like I feel like maybe I could do a few more stretches to like relax the muscles on my back, um, but yeah, it like, I'm like sweating like you know and it was just like a beginner video I've never done Pilates before I like I said I'm, I'm used to just doing yoga but I'm glad I did because I feel so much better like my, like, my body feels so so relaxed and now I just want to go shower um, take out the trash because our trash is like full um, but um, yeah I just feel so good right now so I'm getting getting back into like the mindset of like getting my body to move again because I really need it like my body's been craving it and it's just something that I really really want to start doing again and get myself like back to a body that I am comfortable with um and that I feel good in um it's been a while <laughs> basically since I had my son like things have just kind of stacked up and like I'm over that I'm tired of it I just want to feel good so and working out makes me feel good so I'm gonna keep doing that I really liked I really enjoyed doing the the Pilates workouts so I think I'm gonna to stick to doing Pilates for a while and if I get bored you know switch it back up to yoga and um, I really like vinyasa flow so you know I, I usually stick to those but yeah but let me get to the shower because I'm getting really hot I'm all showered and clean. I'm gonna brush my teeth real quick and just prep my face just for the day. I'm not gonna put any makeup on, I don't think. Probably not. If I do, I, I'll just do like a little like no makeup makeup look. <laughs> but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna brush my teeth. Mm, before I do that, first I'm putting some deodorant on because yuck. Okay. 
I use the cucumber mint. I don't know. There we go. The cucumber and mint um, native deodorant. I really like their deodorants. Uh, I don't like using like Dove and all that shit. Um, my piece fell off. Because they have a bunch of chemicals. Like, even they're like clean versions. Like, I'm cool. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna put on a lip mask on and. The lip mask that I'm using is the same one that I used last time. Just give me a second, all right. It's the Lizzie McGuire, um, is it ColourPop, uh, bubblegum, like, pop, uh, lip sugar scrub. And I really like it. It, like, moisturizes my lips. I noticed that, like, it makes my lips look a little plumper after. I think it's probably just from like the scrubbing with the sugar. But, all right, I'll put some brand new toothpaste on here. brighter, shinier, oily. And then I'm gonna use my <laughs> Trader Joe brand uh, called Rose Water Facial Toner. And it's just, if you haven't seen like the first video I made of like, get ready with me. <laughs> um, I basically, <coughs> ooh, <coughs> be there. But um, basically, my cousin told me, because I, I think, well, I haven't been like diagnosed with it, but I'm pretty sure I have rosacea, which is like, you know, just the red pigmentation on my face and on my cheeks. Um, by the way, I'm doing this because a Korean dermatologist or yeah, whatever, she said to do it because it helps with the flow, blood flow and you know, and it feels good. I mean, to me, like, it feels fucking great. Like, right now in the moment, yeah, okay, kind of stings, you know? <laughs> You're slapping yourself. But then after, it's like, my face feels like, I keep using this word today because it's like the word of the day, but my face feels activated, you know? I'm doing it on my double chin. That baby needs attention too. But yeah. My chest a little bit. Mm. Okay. Oh, back to my rose water story. The reason I use it is because my cousin told me that like Salma Hayek or Penelope Cruz, one of those beauties, uses it, and it's for um, it helps reduce redness and puffiness like in the morning, you know, and also just throughout the day they use it to like keep their face. Um, you know, moisturize and just kind of like give them like a drink of water to their face. Um, but anyways, so the eye cream that I've been using is like this tiny sample that my mom gave me. Let me see if it'll focus. There we go. It's by Estee Lauder, and like I'm gonna be honest with you, normally like I would never use Estee Lauder products because of how. Oh, many toxic chemicals they have in their product and I mean if you use Estee Lauder like cool dude but me personally like I prefer not to but at the moment I don't have another eye cream and I may as well use this one up right until I get a new one or I run out of this one but I think more than anything I'll just get a new one eventually just not right now don't need it because I have that one but I don't want to use it but I am using it and then, just as my daily moisturizer, like face moisturizer, I've been using like, <laughs> by the way, everything's like Trader Joe's, but I've been using the Enrich, what the fuck is it called? Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion, Broad Spectrum SPF 15. 
And it's like, it's fragrance free. It's for all skin types, light, non, non greasy, broad spectrum, UVA, UVB protection, enriched with vitamins A, C, and E, PA, PA free, non comedogenic, does not clog pores. Um, and I don't know about all that. I mean, it, it is a very nice cream, it is very light, and I do love using it. It does make my face feel very moisturized after I use it. Um, but I'm not gonna say like, oh no, it does not clog my pores because I still have blemishes and I still get acne. And I know I feel I, I just haven't. I, every time I go to my doctor, I forget to ask her because basically after I had my son, I started getting acne all over my face. And I never suffered from acne, so in reality, I don't really know what causes it. And I'm guessing for me, it's hormonal. I mean, I got it here, you know. I sometimes get it on this side. You can see, like, the red. And, and that's the thing. It's like my skin is so sensitive, and and I'm pretty pale. Not, not super pale, but I'm pretty pale. So I have, like, you know, you see the redness, and then you just, you can see everything, the scars and everything. And it looks like I'm constantly with acne, but like some of these aren't even there. Like these dots, like those are just scars, you know? And so, you know, I need to figure out like, well, I know what I, what products I could use for, to help me with that because the one product that helped after I had my son was Core Organics and I really, really love the turmeric scrub and like the turmeric lotion because that really, really changed the game for my skin, like after I had my son. Um, but yeah, and I'm using a, well, this is supposed to be like overnight <laughs> intensive lip, lip mask, but I'm gonna use it right now. Um, oh shit, my battery's dying. But yeah, I, this is it. So, Ta da! I'm just gonna put some coconut oil on my hair, and that's basically what I do. Like, I don't put anything in in it and if I do I use like this styling like shell moisture like product I'll show it to you guys next time but all right um so I finished setting up the chia bowls um this is what they look like so I put the strawberries in and then I decided to decorate them with some flowers these are it I'm excited because I know Lobo loves um, edible flowers, so this is perfect. Alright, I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna eat. Hey guys, um, so I just threw some laundry into wash and now I just have to fold up a bit of laundry that I had in the washer and dry. It's, it's a combo machine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't know I had any laundry in there, but I'm gonna do that right now. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but my glasses broke. So I'm gonna have to find the time to like fix that. But yeah, I'll probably do that later. Hey guys, this week Lobo starts school, AK, whatever it's called, pre-K, pre-TK, 
basically the three to five year old's school and I have to pack his bag because he needs, I think if I'm correct, I need to review his um, the paper with all the, the requirements, but I think it's like three changes of clothes, um, a toothbrush, and I think that's about it. So yeah, so I have to like get that ready. Um, our friend bought him this bag. <laughs> he loves it. She put, she gave him like a notebook and a few other things with it. Um, I don't know. If, I mean, I'll, I'll send them with the notebook. I doubt they're gonna use it, but you know, I mean, he'll always come back with it. Um, so I'll, I'll put the notebook there. I got him also an air tag um, because it's just. Safety. <laughs> Safety and I mean not that I don't trust that they'll take care of him but it's just I don't know at the moment I have my own traumas I'm working through so um, we got him the air tag Vic and I both agreed on it and so we're still trying to figure out where we're gonna place it on him whether it's gonna be like on his person or like with the backpack only I want it on him at all times so I'm thinking maybe I'll just like in clothes that he has pockets, just put it in the pocket. It's like shaking, but I think it's the elevator. Anyways, um, so yeah, I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it. I was telling Vic, like the clip I got is so that, yeah, put this back back down. The clip I got is so that it can kind of go into like any strap situation. And so I was telling him, like, I was thinking of putting it on his shoe, you know, and like having it like on the front on the laces uh, like Lobo's kind of particular about things like that <laughs> if he feels like oh like something's off something's different like wait a minute you know he kind of like he speaks up about it and then he'll like decide like whether or not he wants it there or not and so that's my issue where it's like I want to do something like that but if he disagrees <laughs> then it's not gonna happen so you know I'm kind of hoping that you know, Lobo will be okay with wearing this on his shoe. Like, he won't even realize that it's there. But if not, then I have to, like, you know, think of other methods. Um, so, yeah. Mom's dress. So, yeah, I have, just have to do that right now. Um, and then I have some laundry to do because, for whatever reason, we don't even have that much, like, clothes. We don't, we don't own that many clothes. So, it's like, I don't know... Where all this laundry come from <laughs> but i mean it is what it is like laundry's laundry right everyone fucking does it um but yeah so let me get to, to, to packing up his shirts and you know packing up his extra clothes and then i'm gonna probably keep this on his backpack just clipped on for the time being until tomorrow um and yeah so wish me luck
done packing up his bag. It's pretty heavy right now at this point. <laughs> but yeah, so get that done. Now I'm gonna get some laundry started. Um, I don't wanna be working on doing laundry all week because I have other things I need to think about. But anyways, let me get to doing that and then um, Vic should be home with some cheeseburgers that he went to go pick up. So we'll do that soon. My phone's ringing. So Vic is on his way. He's going to bring some cheeseburgers uh, that he went to go pick up. And then we're gonna have lunch and basically kind of tie some loose ends here and there. <laughs> um, I wanna be sure that we're prepared for tomorrow. Um, super excited, can't wait. But um, yeah, it feels like finally some like normalcy. Something normal in our lives is happening and my kid going back to school is something normal so I'm really excited so yeah so let me get to um, putting a load of laundry in so I can get that going because that needs to get done All right, so I'm gonna make chocolate milk for Lobito. We like to use, these are like things we picked up from Trader Joe's and I really, really love the chocolate. This stuff is so bomb. We're almost out of it actually. That's why it's like, I think that's why you have it upside down. I mean, I usually have it upside down because it's almost out. <laughs> and then you know, I just put the milk. I'm gonna stir it up. Um, I'm gonna froth it for him. I think, oh, actually, you know what? No, since we're putting the, we're putting in the whipped cream, I think I'm just gonna stick to just regular milk. I mean, you know, the milk just being the way it is. I'm not gonna add any air to it. Let me see. I added too much chocolate, to be honest. I don't add this much, but I was, I normally use a cup with a, like a skinnier bottom, so it's easier to like measure out like the milk amount <laughs> as to like chocolate ratio. But it's okay. It's it's his weekend. He's had a he's had a long week. He started school, so yeah. all right. So mm. Ugh, love chocolate milk. All right. So next. Shake it all about. I wanna directions, yeah. Uh, shake can gently. So you shake it gently. It's starting to feel real cold. Okay. And turn it upside down, and here we go. Oh wait, hang on. Let me zoom it in. I feel like this is a zoom in moment, so here we go. Perfect. Put his little straw in there and he was ready. Let me go give it to him. 